buddies, what's up? So in this episode, we're taking the engine apart and what we are doing is we remove the AC compressor system and the AC compressor gets away anyways. We're taking the whole engine apart, we're taking the pistons out and checking the piston ring gap from the new rings. So I got most of the motor already apart and I'm about to get the pistons out and I'm working on the piston rings right now. Here's one of the new piston rings. And uh, now I show you what my problem is. So as you see here, it should be between 12 and 13. Normally it should be like 11.89 something. But um, um, since we're doing some other modifications, we have to make the piston gap a little bit larger. So I want to go between 12 and 13. And that means 12 should slide through. That's a piston gap right there. And 13 should be not go in there. And here we have actually 19. And 19 is the biggest one I get through. So that's too big. And what we are doing about that is I have a piston ring set, what is a little bit bigger. But they are too big, so I have to file them down till I am on the right level. And uh, then I can get everything together and that takes uh, takes a little while. But I want to put it accurate together and uh, there are steps you have to do. Okay, here we, we got the pistons. And as you can see it in the lowest, right there. And the lowest ring, that is the, um, the ring who keeps the oil down. And um, yeah, what he makes is like he's, he scraps the oil down the cylinder walls. And that is all what he is for and the top rings are the compression rings and you can see the lower ring is full of some dirt stuff oil, oil oily dirt okay the first piston is already in there I can see it here yeah the first piston is already in I'm working on the second one I can see I painted the engine already black it's clean and painted in black here I'm working on the second piston, the other ones are still dirty, I cleaned it up, um, cleaned the ring, uh, cleaned the seats for the rings, and um, yeah, so I adjusted the ring gap already, that's the first compression ring, that are the old compression rings, and that is the oil, the lower string. And uh, like you can see here, it's everywhere blocked already. Some stuff is on there. So that is one of the reasons why the oil usage was going up. And um, yeah, it's getting the new piston rings. And then I have my compressor here. And the compressor goes above the piston. You tie it together, it compresses the piston rings. And then you can just push it back into the engine. And uh, connect the rod back to the crankshaft. Yeah, searching the newt meters and talk it all back together to the specs and then the block is ready to go again. So all pistons are back in and um, yeah, everything is cleaned up already, basically ready for the head and um, yeah, I cannot put it all the way together because I broke the wheel and um, yeah, we're not gonna talk why that wheel is broken, we just accept the fact that it is broken. But yeah, all new piston rings are in there, yeah, and, um, well, um, the old rings was not good anymore, yeah, so I'm happy that the new rings are in there now, and, um, yeah, I go ahead, put the head back together, that is what's coming in the next video probably, and, um, then when I get all my other parts, I can put everything else back together. Alright buddy, so that was the episode for the day. We replaced the piston rings, pistons are back in, and everything is clean and nice. And um, we got ready to install the rest of it. I know it's a short video today, but well, it is what it is, buddies. See you next time. Scheiße, man, that mikrofon is voll im Weg.